Hi guys, so today I'm doing something that I haven't done in a little while and I'm pretty excited about it actually. It's just a quick little illustration that I do in about an hour I think. It was somewhere between an hour and an hour and a half. And I used to do these a lot more during the summer and I really miss it because there's just something really pleasant about enjoying the process and knowing that I can experiment on it and make mistakes and do choices that ultimately may or may not have been the best choice. But it's just, it's nice to be able to have something that's purely about the enjoying the process as opposed to needing to have a finished product be a certain way. So I'm excited to get back into doing that and doing a lot more of these really quick little drawing illustration sketch type videos. So there's a couple differences that I did in this piece that's a little bit different from my other illustrations that I wanted to try out. The first one was really very simple, but um, where I always have this layer of texture on top, I usually have it set to multiply, but then I lower the opacity down so that it's uh, a little bit more of a subtle look to it. But for this one, I left it at completely 100 on the multiply setting. So in the end, it had a much grungier look and you could see the texture and it was a lot stronger than usual. And I really liked the effect. It felt a lot more, I don't know, it, it had the the mood and the look that I wanted for this particular piece. And I think that that's something that I can start uh, experimenting with more on full illustrations, where not so much necessarily having the full illustration covered with a darker texture like this, but incorporating it in more specific strategic areas where I can localize it to areas that I do want more texture. So I think that's something that I'm excited about trying out is just being really particular about different ways that I can incorporate texture into digital stuff as opposed to just this flat solid texture on top, which has been something that I've enjoyed so far and I like the look of, but I think it's ready to start evolving and progressing into something a little bit more, more than what it is now. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about trying it out in full finished illustrations of just trying out more texture techniques. So I'm excited. I think it'll be fun. And the other thing that I played with a lot more of on this piece in particular was the colors. So usually I do use pretty saturated colors, but for this one, I definitely pushed that. I used a lot more saturated than usual, but the big difference was I started playing around a little bit more with the local color of the things. So local color is what the object actually is. So say you have an orange ball and you're shining red light on it, it'll turn more of an orange red as opposed to the straight orange that the actual object is. So the local color is just simply what that object is without any outside interference, any other colors that might be reflecting on it. And so for this one, I was adding a few more colors in. I was being a lot more, I was just kind of letting things happen and letting more colors happen and blending them in a little bit more. And I really enjoyed that process. I like the look of it. It looks a little bit more interesting. And I like not being tied to having to have everything be a specific color and really like a solid look to it because this just gives it a lot more play. It means that I can experiment a lot more. I can get different effects by including multiple colors within that object. And I think that that's something that will help refresh my finished illustrations is just being a little bit more energetic with the colors because I find that um, my line art is really very specific. It's really sharp. It's really clean, which I like. That's the style that I like. But at the same time, I think that my pieces can be a little bit sterile. They can feel a little bit emotionless or like there's just, there's not as much emotion and energy going on in it. So I think that this is something that will help bring that in a little bit more is being a little bit more excited and liberal with the coloring as opposed to really specific and clean and clear cut. So yeah, I'll definitely be experimenting a little bit more with that on the way that I treat color within specific objects. I also played a little bit more with the lighting and usually I, I love the lighting effects that I can create, but I pushed it a little bit further this time. So when there was a rim light, I made it a little bit thicker and stronger and more opaque than usual, where usually I tend to, in that kind of situation, I do it a little bit lighter and more see-through. So I liked that effect. I like being able to give a stronger impression of the light and I enjoyed that. So 
It's, it's something that I like the look of, but it's not always applicable for every situation and every drawing that I do, but I like having that more in my arsenal and more of an option to have these really strong lights rather than have everything kind of have the same light quality, which I think I tend to do. They tend to have the same, same formula, same look, just different colors. So I like that I'm kind of figuring out ways to show a little bit different of a light quality and the strength of the light and the closeness to the figures. And that all is just gonna add up to creating a more visually interesting piece when I can really add the lighting that's much more dynamic to that particular illustration and what's happening in it. So I like that. I think that I'll definitely be doing a lot more experimenting with the way that I show light because I think I'm getting a little bit stiff with the lighting and how I show it where it's kind of becoming very formulaic. And I, I wanna mix it up. I wanna make it a lot more dynamic and yeah, that's one of my many goals that I, I would like to do moving forward. And that is pretty much it for this one. I really loved working on it. It was fun to get back to just enjoying the process, having fun creating an image. And yeah, I think that that's definitely something that I'm gonna do a lot more of now that I've realized that I miss doing it because it, it really was very fun and I like that. Um, there's definitely a few things that I changed, but that's kind of the real benefit to doing something that's really quick is that I feel overall everything that I did I learned from whether it was a mistake or something that worked well. So it's fun to know that I can just move on to the next piece and leave the baggage of this one behind and just start another one and also enjoy that one. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe so you can catch all my future art videos and I'll see you at my next one. Bye!